Hey guys, welcome back to this Flutter app development series where we are creating that wallpaper app which no one wants. In the last video, I implemented dark and light theme using value listenable builder. Now we can switch between dark and light mode from anywhere in this app. Now the next major thing that we need to add is a way for users to mark wallpapers as favorite. But before doing that, I want to fully complete the all images page and the home page. So right now the wallpapers on all images page are static. Users cannot really interact with them. And in this video I want to fix that. Before we do that, I'll first go to build method of home state class and change the cross axis count to 2. I think this looks much better. Now to fix all images page, I'll be using a package called photo view. This package will allow us to create a gallery of wallpapers which users can swipe through. So let's copy this dependency and add it to our pubspec yaml. And while the package is getting downloaded, I'll close all other files except all images. Here we have a grid view of cache network images. So to capture the tap gesture on these images, I'll wrap cache network image in a ink response. Inside the onTap function of ink response, we can navigate users to wallpaper gallery. For now, I'll add a to-do note here. Now let's create a new file called wallpaper underscore gallery dot dart. Inside this file, I'll create a stateful widget called wallpaper gallery. Let's import the material dot dart package real quick. Okay. So now, to display a swipeable gallery of wallpapers, we need a list of wallpapers. This list is already present in all images class. Basically, it is this list of documents that we get from snapshot. So to send this list to wallpaper gallery, I'll add a final field which will be a list of document snapshot. I'll name this as wallpaper list. For document snapshot, we'll need cloud underscore firestore dot dart package. Now let's add this field as formal parameter to wallpaper gallery's constructor. Let's also mark this as required. Now inside the build method, I can return photo view gallery widget. I'll use the builder constructor for this. Here item count will be widget.wallpaper.length and builder will be a function with input parameters as build context and index. If you look at the return type of this builder, you can see that it needs to return photo view gallery page options. So I'll write return photo view gallery page options. And this widget has one required property called image provider. Here I'll use cache network image provider and for URL we can use widget.wallpaperlist.element at index. This will basically be the document at this index and to get the URL of actual image, I'll use index operator. And now let's format and save this code. To check if this is working, I'll go to the to-do note I just added in all images class and I'll replace this with the actual code. So this will be navigator.off context.push material page route. For the builder of this material page route, and add a function which takes a context and returns wallpaper gallery widget. And as wallpaper list is required property, I'll pass in wallpaper.snapshot.data.documents here. Once that is done, let's save this code and see what happens when we tap on any of the image. And as you can see, that image opens up in a new page and we can swipe to the next image. Users can also double tap on these images to see how it will look when they set it as wallpaper. All this is great but we have a problem here. If I click on any other image, it will still open the very first image. So let's fix this. Basically we want to open up a specific wallpaper as the first wallpaper when user taps on these images. Or to be precise, the wallpaper on which user has clicked would be the initial wallpaper in gallery view. For this, we'll need to know the index of that wallpaper in the given wallpaper list. 
So let's add one more final field which will store the index of selected wallpaper. I'll name this as initial page. This parameter will also have to be added to constructor and it will also be required. If you check photo view gallery widget, you can see that we have a property called page controller and page controller allows us to set the initial page. We'll first add a new page controller field in wallpaper gallery state class called underscore page controller. To initialize this, I'll overwrite the init state method and in here, I'll initialize underscore page controller with page controller with its initial page property set as widget dot initial page. And since this is a controller, we'll also have to dispose it to avoid memory leaks. So let's overwrite dispose method and in here, I'll call dispose method on underscore page controller. So finally, we can add this page controller as the page controller property of this photo view gallery builder. Now let's go back to all images and add this new initial page property. An initial page in this case will be same as index of item builder. And now if I save this code and tap on any of the wallpaper, that wallpaper will be set as initial page for photo view gallery widget. So now that users can see all the wallpapers in gallery view, let's add a way for them to set an image as wallpaper directly from this view. For that, I'll first wrap the photo view gallery widget inside a scaffold widget. Now I would like to have a button overlaid on top of the wallpaper and on top of this button, we will handle wallpaper setting code. For this, I'll again wrap wallpaper gallery widget inside a stack and stack needs a list of widgets. So photo view gallery will be the first widget in this stack. Next, I'll add a icon button as second widget in the stack. Icon for this widget will be format paint and on press function will be empty for now. So before I save this code, let's open up a wallpaper in photo view gallery so that we can see that change. And now if I save this code, you can see that an icon appears at the top left corner. Let's bring it to bottom. For this, I'll wrap it inside an align widget. An alignment property of this widget will be alignment.bottomcenter. Now it is possible that the color of wallpaper and this icon button matches perfectly. And in that case, button will not be visible. So to fix that, I'll wrap this button inside a container widget. I'll set the color of this container as black or maybe black 54 so that we have some transparency. So now you can see that once we zoom in the wallpaper, our icon button appears inside a black box. I'll quickly set the width of this container as 100. Let's also wrap this container inside a clip R rect so that we can use the border radius property and clip off the corners. So right now this is looking good but if I go back and switch the theme to light and then come back in photo view gallery, you'll see that the button is not visible. This is because now the color of icon has become black. This means we cannot hard code the value of container. So we'll have to get the current icon color on the fly and then choose an opposite color for container. So to get the current color of icon, we can use icon theme dot off on text. And on this we have a getter called color and then I'll use the value getter on this color. This will give us the underlying 32 bit integer equivalent of this color. And to get an opposite color, I'll use the bitwise XOR operator on current icon color and hex representation of white color. And if I save this, you can see that container color changes to white. And now if I again switch back to dark mode, the color of container will change to black. So now that the colors are working correctly, let's write the actual code to set selected image as wallpaper. And for this, I'll use the set wallpaper utility function that we created earlier. I'll add await here and mark this on press function as async. And I think I didn't mark the parameters of this function as required. Let's do that real quick. And now you can see that we get an error for the required parameters. 
so context will be this context and for image url i'll write visit dot wallpaper list dot element at index now your index should be the index of current page on which user is on and to get that we can use the page controller so i'll write page controller dot page in the documentation you can see that page returns the current page but its data type is double this is because while swiping between pages this will return fractional values this is useful if you want to control some animation while swiping but for our case we can safely round off this double to integer for that i'll write dot to int and finally on this i'll use the index operator to get url of this wallpaper and that is it now let's save this code and check if we can set the wallpaper and as you can see set wallpaper is working perfectly so that was it for this video i hope that you enjoyed it and were able to follow along as usual if you have any doubts post them in the comment section or maybe join my telegram channel linked in the description if you prefer to use email check the about section of this channel all that being said if you like this video hit that like button and consider subscribing for more such content